Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to install Ubuntu with GUI on Windows 11 using Windows Subsystem for Linux 2, WSL2. Myself Mohammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, first of all, we need to enable some of the Windows subsystem or you can say we need to enable some of the features into our Windows 11. So for that purpose, I'll just search for Windows features. Here it is. I'll just click on that one. So from here, we need to check two of them. First one is virtual machine platform and second one is Windows subsystem for Linux. Here we have Windows subsystem for Linux and here we have virtual machine platform. I have already enabled both of them and I will just click on OK. In your case, if you do not have enabled both of them, just enable them and if you just click on OK, in your case, it will make some changes into your Windows 11 and after that, it will ask you to restart your Windows 11 and only then your changes will take place permanently. After that, in some cases, some of you might have to install WSL manually into your Windows 11. So just open your command prompt as an administrator and in that right here WSL space hyphen hyphen install and after that just hit enter. So I have already installed that one as well. In your case, it will take a little bit of time in order to install it into your Windows 11. And here if you see, here we have a list of Linux distributions that are available that we can download and install into our Windows 11 with the help of our WSL2. I'll not do that from here, I'll show you another way. I'll just close this one and now I'll open my Microsoft Store. So I will just write here Store, I will open that one. So here it is. Here you just need to search for Ubuntu. In your case, you will also see some other options like Ubuntu 20.04, Ubuntu 18.04, Ubuntu 22.04 as well. From here, I'll click on Ubuntu 20.04. From here, click on Get and now it will download Ubuntu 20.04 into your Windows 11. So it will take a little bit of time, so we will wait for it. We are done with the download and now I'll click on Open. Here it says installing, this may take a few minutes. So basically, this process will take a lot of time. So you have to be patient in order to complete that process. Here, we need to enter our Unix username. I'll enter as Zubair and I will hit enter. And now it will ask us to enter our password. I will enter my password. I will retype it to confirm it. And now it says password updated successfully. And here we are done with the installation of our Ubuntu into our Windows 11 with the help of our WSL2. Now, in order to see if it is working or not, I will write here ls. Now I'll write here cd space backslash. And now if I write here ls space hyphen l hit enter. So here if you see we have all the directories with all the permissions and all the users. So it shows that we are up and running and we have our Ubuntu working into our Windows 11 with the help of our WSL. Now, in case if you want to download and install some of the things into this one, you can do so. But first of all, I'll write here sudo apt update hit enter. I will give it my password and now it will update my Ubuntu. And after that, we are ready to download and install anything into that one. I will download an application into this one and I'll show you if it is work or not. We are done with the update. Now I'll write here sudo apt install space gimp. Well gimp is a tool that we use for image editing. I'll just hit enter and now it says it will take around 437 megabyte of additional disk space. I will press Y and I will hit enter. And now it will download and install GIMP into my Ubuntu 20.04 in my Windows 11 with the help of my WSL. Let it get completed and then I'll show you that how you can launch the application from your Windows 11 that you have just installed into your Ubuntu. So we are done with the download and installation of our GIMP. 
Now I will just start here GIMP in order to launch it. I will hit enter now. So here if you see the GIMP has been launched and it is working. You might be wondering that how is it possible that the application that we have installed into our Ubuntu is running into our Windows 11. Well, this is the beauty of WSL that it renders everything that you have into your Ubuntu and present it to you onto your Windows 11. I'll have more detail onto it in our next video. So for this video, we are done. And I hope now that you must have liked the way that I had shown you in this video. If that is the case, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We'll get back to you in the next video. Till then, take care.